Tanqua Artscape 2023. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do and who you are when you're not here in the Tanqua. <laughs> I pretty much do the same thing. So, uh, you see, my I don't have a home, literally. I don't have a home since many, many years. And uh, I have found my home inside me. So, it doesn't really matter for me where I am. I have a certain kind of balance and quietness, calmness, wherever I am. So, I'm kind of independent from the people around me from the area around me what is happening so uh, yeah wherever I go uh, it's to explore to maybe better understand what is going on because I have somehow lost trust in our media and stuff like this so I rather go on my own you know try to see it with my own eyes and find my own answers so this is this is what I do and this is what I did here so there is not much of a difference mm -hmm. I'm pretty much used to such environment because I even before I started traveling I was living in India in rural India which is I mean it looks different but at the end of the day it's the same you're in the middle of nowhere you're in the center of nature and you are just you know a tiny little part in there this certainly changed my my relationship to nature so i could have never ever imagined that i would ride on a motorbike you know and 20 meters ahead of me a tiger would pass the road mm. and me just being quiet and watching it because i know this guy is not coming out there to get me he's just you know going to the other side of his park <laughs> so uh, all these kind of things how did you find yourself here in the Tanqua in the Tanqua yeah. that's a, a very uh, short story I have a friend whom I met by coincidence only a year ago uh, we somehow stayed in touch and when she heard that I'm uh, in Durban she said you have to meet Kim so she called Kim Kim called me and a few days later I was at Kim's house and so I was there for a couple of days you know and we kept talking we somehow had immediately some kind of connection <laughs> you yeah. would probably say here and then he said you know we do this thing in the Tangwa don't you want to come and I said yes and then I met uh, since I was based so to speak in south of uh, Cape Town, uh, I met Lely, had a conversation with her. Meanwhile, in between meeting Kim and meeting Lely, I had my very own ideas what uh, what I would love to do with, with them, having connections to artists. So when I met Lely, I said, yes, I would love to come here. And I don't know, I'm certainly not, you know... A creative person in a way that I crawl over the rocks and create something out of it or so but I'm probably created when creative in maybe in ways of thinking I'm kind of creative or so I said I will do something with the participants which adds to your documentation and then she said yes I also told her about my idea what I wanted to do or what I will do in, in Brazil as an other friend's property which is as sacred land as this here it's just quite different mm. from uh, a lot of mountains very green lush water and Lely said yes that's interesting and so yeah. I'm here <laughs> <laughs> and you've spent basically two weeks now with the whole range of different artists from all over the place how do you feel about that what has it given you or what have you experienced from all that what's your sort of over feeling of that uh for me it was 
very, very nice to see uh, such a diverse group. I really appreciate that they put such a group together. So I like this. Uh, and then I just love to see how dynamics evolve, you know, how things are falling in place. And for me, having had the chance to speak to all these people while there, some of them were just preparing their work, then they were, you know, in middle of the process, or now, like you, you are finished, to get these various perspectives, uh, it again underscored the diversity of the team in the way they were expressing themselves mm -hmm. in the way they're dealing with with what they experienced here that was quite diverse mm -hmm. but what again came out and this is I feel something very uh, precious and that was one of the reasons why I came to see is this happening was that to whomever I spoke the underlying values were pretty much the same you know it's independence, it's freedom, it's somehow, you know, overcoming certain boundaries, restrictions. So these kind of values, being open, being grateful, mm -hmm. uh, mm. the underlying values, which is holding the, the group thing. together, yeah. Yeah. are there without yeah. any conversation about this. Mm. And I think when you listen to these podcasts, you will pretty much hear this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is what I enjoyed. Of course, I enjoy such landscape. I went out for many, many walks. Uh, for me, it's like, you know, walking through, I don't know, through, through time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... I got rid of all these pressures you were talking about because I don't need them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also got rid uh, over the call, it took a couple of years, but I don't have a place anymore. So being a nomad is, I mean, quite some people here ask me, you know, for them it seems to be the hit to be today mm -hmm. here, tomorrow there. and you know, doing yeah. these things, but the uh, the core of it is if you don't have any luggage to carry, if you don't have any kind of obligations, you know, mm -hmm. to take care of your apartment, mm -hmm. of your house or whatever, uh, it gives you a kind of, not, I gave up my money, mm -hmm. you know, all the money I had, I spent in the project in India, since then I really have hardly any money I don't have. Any health insurance, you know, I don't get retirement money, I have nothing. I don't have property, uh, but still I'm very, very happy and I just trust mm -hmm. the process, what you were saying, you mm -hmm. know, if you put the right stuff out there or your yeah. stuff out there, yeah. you will find your pieces. Yeah. So uh, this is... Uh, what it actually means to be a nomad. And I also don't, I do not plan my routes. Once in a while, yes, yeah, I know I go there. But, you know, the route will come to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I go now back to Europe, I knew I would go to Paris because there is a lady uh, with her, I've been very close in India. Now she's very sick, so she's going to die. Of course, I go and see her. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it happened that the friend, the common friend of Kim and mm -hmm. I, she's in Paris. Now she's extending her stay to see me, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to bring these things mm -hmm. together. So yeah. there, there is reason for all these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I don't push it necessarily. Yeah. It really, as you were describing earlier, it comes. And just to have this freedom, to mm -hmm. let this go, what more mm -hmm. do you need? Mm -hmm. I think it's somehow, it's these layers we put in front of our, our eyes. Yeah. So, 
which hinder us to see all the way through where actually I believe mm. the real freedom is. Yeah. Yeah. Does this make sense? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So, and this is why also it doesn't, for me, it doesn't make a difference if I'm here or I can have the same experience in the center of New York City yes. in a different way because... Yeah. So what would you be taking back into your nomadic, nomadic life from this place? Uh, in my personal life, I would say the fact that it is even if if strangers come together you know with certain kind of processes with certain kind of tools mm -hmm. open processes uh, you can easily find common ground yeah. and it's uh, i think it's a highly valuable process which we should apply much, much more into companies, into governments, into whatsoever, uh, to make this world a better place. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's it's part of, you know, it's one of the reasons I now fly back to Germany to talk about these things, mm. you know. And, and then the last thing is, give me five words that you would describe, how you would describe being here in the Tankwa. Oh... Uh, or to describe the landscape? Infinite, rich, embracing, beautiful, just like you said, and uh, demanding. Mm.